This is Dunstan National Nature Reserve. It is one of the absolute best con grassland sites anywhere in the, in the country. It's, as you can see, it's a really tussocky structure. It's full of a whole range of different insects, um, wildflowers, we've got devil's bit scabious coming up here, we've got ragged robin, there's marsh, marsh fritillary butterflies flying around us. Uh, all sorts of other species here as well, we've got grasshopper warblers, we've got willow tits. It really is an absolute beautiful sight um, and one of the real jewels in the crown for us. The Devon Wildlife Trust has got a long history of working in this calm landscape. Uh, the original inventory of the, of the resource was carried out in about 1989-1990 and that identified the importance of the habitat but it also identified how quickly it was declining and we'd lost something like 60% of all of our calm grasslands in a short period during the 1980s. It was a really dramatic uh, decline, primarily for, because of agricultural intensification at that time. Since then we've uh, set up an advisory service and our first uh, Devon Wildlife Trust farm advisors were employed back in 1992 and ever since then we've had a, a team of people working with farmers around different parts of the landscape to try and help them manage the culm, providing practical support, advice and there's, there's been a, a really long history of agri-environment support for landowners and farmers in this area um, which is really critical. Like all grassland habitats, uh, calm grassland really does need to be managed. Historically it would have been managed by traditional grazing using uh, beef cattle um, and without that management it would quickly revert to a more tussocky structure and eventually scrub so it gets invaded by birch and willow and gorse and that ultimately uh, results in the loss of this grassland habitat. What has happened in the Colm is that because these areas are so difficult to farm many of them are just neglected so the landowners have little uh, little interest really in maintaining them they tend to just be at the bottom of the farm and, are, and aren't really valued and managed so they gradually revert to woodland and that's resulting in a real fragmentation of this uh, really internationally important resource. So my job is to find the right cattle for the right site and keep it in the right condition. Calm grassland and traditional cattle particularly go well together because they both became very rare 10, 15 years ago when lots of our land was drained. Um, traditional breed cattle have got this brilliant ability to graze calm grassland better than anything else. They seem to like the rough pasture that you get, the diversity of herbs and the different sort of sward that you get in the culm. These isolated little pockets of habitat are getting smaller and smaller and they're surrounded by a, a, a more hostile landscape of, of intensive farming and so those species that live in them are really not able to disperse into that wider countryside and to move between sites which for things like the marsh fritillary butterfly is absolutely critical for their survival. There are some sites where we really are trying to recreate habitat in a strategically important location and Dunstan Farm is one of them. It's actually between two parts of our nature reserve and the field here was really quite hostile for species to migrate between those two parts of the site. So what we've done here is quite innovative. On quite a large scale we've removed the topsoil from the, from the site and uh, built these hedge banks out of it. And in doing so, we're taking away a lot of that fertility uh, and allowing a lot more of the delicate wildflowers to, uh, to come in and compete with those grasses. And in fact, here, we've removed the topsoil and then sown a wildflower mix uh, in order to try and get these, uh, these, this really species-rich meadow to come in. The Devon Wildlife Trust work in the Colm has been funded by a whole range of different organisations over the years but one of the big ones now is Southwest Water under their upstream thinking programme. Um, one of the, um, the reasons why Southwest Water are funding this work is because they want to see 
um, reduction in pollutant levels and they want to see a, a cleaner, more constant flow of water coming down the rivers from these, uh, these upland wetlands. Um, and so they're funding us to try and restore these wetlands. And as part of this work, we're employing the University of Exeter to carry out some research into this aspect of our work. So we take these water table measurements at a number of locations at six different monitoring sites. So we're interested when it rains, how quickly that water table responds, how quickly it moves up to the surface. Sometimes, of course, how quickly overland flow is generated over the soil surface. So we measure that as well. We measure then when it stops raining, how quickly the water table draws down how quickly the water table drops to its low point. And what we're seeing is the Colm grasslands, the water tables stay up near the surface uh, much longer. They don't draw down as deeply, so there's always water near the surface. And again, in comparison with intensively managed grasslands, where the water tables drop down to 20, 30 centimetres, we're seeing that water stored in the topsoil, which is like a natural reservoir, really. Uh, we, we funded uh, work in wetlands uh, as, as part of the bigger upstream thinking project. And the, the, great, the greater the challenge to our treatment processes from, from that raw water that we abstract means the processes have to work harder and, and we have to work harder. And all of that means it is more expensive per megalitre, per litre, or whatever you want to measure that water in, per glass to a customer, it is more expensive. And therefore, the more we can do to clean up that water before it actually hits our treatment works, then everyone's a winner. And really, it's a reflection of us uh, looking outside the boundaries of our normal operation. The whole, the whole gist of the, of the project is restoring the natural landscape to make it hold more water, release that water more slower, and when it does release it, release it in a cleaner state. And that is of great benefit to Southwest Water. The Devon Wildlife Trust work has been going on for many years now, and we've we've got a real momentum um, with a huge number of landowners involved. But there's still a huge amount to do. We've probably managed about a third of the the important sites already. That's leaving two thirds of really some really important Colm grassland sites that are desperately in need of management. And then there is also real potential for recreation of large areas of grassland habitats and wetlands in these headwater streams and in the upper catchments.